Hello, in this video, I am going to show you how to implement a time picker. Time picker, simply put, once triggered, allows you to select a time. So this is great for maybe an alarm, reminder system, you know, you know, there's a bunch of other scenarios as well. Honestly, none of the other use cases come to mind, but I'm sure they do for you. If you want to know how to implement a date picker, feel free to check the previous video for that. So outside of our scaffold, our widget, here still inside the class, we need to implement a couple of things. So we need to implement, we need to implement a time. So we're going to say, we're going to say time. So, so with the time, this will allow us to keep track of it. Time of day, time of day, underscore time. And this is going to say equals, so this is going to be the default time that's set. And I'm just going to do time of day dot net. You can overwrite it if you want to, but I'm just going to keep it simple and then just, you know, put the, you know, time that it is currently set to now, whatever that time will be when we run it. Next, we need to have another time of day. Another time of day. Actually, now we can use just this one time of day. We can just use the one. And what we want to do now is create a future. So I'm going to say future no, and this is basically going to be a method that's going to be called once we trigger it via an event that is triggered, or maybe a button, for example. I'm going to be implementing the button shortly. And I'm going to say build context context inside of here. We are going to say underscore time equals await. Show time picker, so this is built in. And we'll implement all of this in a second. Semicolon. And we are going to say the context is equal to the context that's been passed in. Next, the other thing we want to set is the initial time. This is going to be set to. The time. So what is going on here? Okay, let's have a look. Underscore time equals await show time picker content. Let's have a look. Nothing now. I think we do need a separate one. Call it picked. And let's do the pit here. Apparently, mm. it's unexpected for you to have a wait. So, now. so let me just make sure this. So, the future no build context. It needs to be asynchronous. Forgot about the async keyword. So, we can get rid of that. We can change this back to. Underscore time, wondering why it wasn't working. Just make sure you don't make that mistake, with the kids. And now we're going to say if picked isn't equal to null. So basically, as long as we put something and picked isn't equal to the current time, then we're going to trigger this event. Or this little if statement. I'm going to say set state. So the set state is going to say time is now equal to is now equal to actually mm, now that actually should be fine let's save that L let me get rid of this let me save this and we are going to need a button so we're going to need a button so I'm going to need a child icon button and for the child in here now we need an icon in here this is going to be icon icons dot alarm you can have any sort of icon and any sort of button I'm going to say on press so once it's pressed it's going to trigger this event and it's going to be the set time event um let's select time 
select time event and this is a good context now I want to say after this print of underscore time so if we was to refresh that or reload it hot reload love the hot reload feature if I click that so maybe I you know select yeah, now let's go to the hour. Click OK. As you see, there's a problem. It this gets triggered straight away, so we don't want that. And the way we can get around that is by not putting it here, by having a separate time of day. We're gonna call it picked. Then we're gonna say picked is equal to this. Then we're gonna say set state. I'm going to say underscore time equals picked, and then if we was to print out underscore time, hot reload it. Now, as you can see, it hasn't printed anything out yet. Let me go to this time, let me click OK, and only now does it get printed out. And if I go back to it, as you can see, the state has been maintained because we are storing it right here and in terms of the one we would use we would use this underscore time if we wanted to use it you know somewhere else maybe this is you know a reminder you click save reminder and then you would use this to you know save the time that's it for the set time picker if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you on the next video